Hi, I'm Joe Cochran from NorthlineExpress.com. In this short video, I want to help you choose your brand of stovepipe. So before we get started, I want you to remember, stovepipe is the connector pipe that connects your wood stove to your chimney. Stovepipe cannot penetrate any combustible materials like a wall or a ceiling or floor or roof, and it cannot run outside your home. It also cannot be used as a liner. So you can't reline your brick and mortar chimney with stovepipe. Stovepipe can only be used inside your home to connect your wood stove to your chimney. So a few things to keep in mind. Stovepipe is brand specific, so you can't mix brands together. If you're replacing an existing length of stovepipe, you can't swap out, uh, say, a snap lock pipe for Dura black pipe and, and use them in the same run. They won't connect together. And same goes for all the other brands. If you have Dura black, you have to run Dura black the whole way. So if you're replacing a piece of pipe and you're not sure what brand you have, you want to take a look at the end, see if it's a crimped end or if it's a smooth end. Now, even if it's a smooth end, it might be difficult to tell which brand you have. So if you have any questions, feel free, of course, to call one of our chimney pipe experts and we'll try to help you out with that. You may find that it's, re it's necessary to just replace the whole section of stove pipe in that situation. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you're installing DuraVent chimney pipe, it's best to stick with DuraVent stove pipe as well for that connection. And same with Selkirk. If you're installing Selkirk chimney pipe, then you're going to want to install the Selkirk brand of stovepipe. Just because those adapters are all made for each other, so when you make that transition at the support box or at the wall thimble, it'll be an easy transition. A few things. Single wall stovepipe has an 18 inch clearance to combustible materials. So that means that you need to keep this pipe 18 inches away from a wall or a ceiling during that installation. Whereas a double wall stovepipe, like the Duravent DVL stovepipe here, has only a 6 inch clearance to walls and an 8 inch clearance to ceilings. So you can get away with a lot closer clearance to those combustibles if necessary. Another thing to keep in mind is that double wall stovepipe is necessary for mobile home installations. Now, of course, single wall stovepipe is considerably cheaper than the double wall stovepipe, so that's one thing to consider. Another thing about double wall stovepipe is that it's got a stainless steel inner wall. So it heats up faster and it tends to stay hotter longer. And that'll improve your draft and it will help speed up the, the time it takes to get that draft established. But the downside to double wall pipe is that it's insulated better. And so it doesn't emit or radiate as much heat into the room as a single wall stovepipe would. For most installations, the single wall stovepipe is going to be the preferred pipe to use. And you'll need to look at the individual brands themselves, whether it be Heatfab or Durablack or Snaplock, to figure out which one's going to be best for your installation. And if double wall is available for you and, and that's something that you're interested in, check out the DVL by Duravent or the DSP by Selkirk and just determine which one seems like it's best for your installation. Again, referring back to what brand of chimney pipe you're installing as well. I hope you found that helpful. Of course, if you have any questions on your installation or with which brand you should choose, feel free to contact one of our chimney pipe experts at 866-667-8454. And thanks for watching.